Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to use this iterative formula with our first approximation x0 equaling 1.3 to find two more values x1, x2 to three decimal places. Now to do this, what you've got to do is just use your calculator, enter x0 as 1.3 and then get out x1 and then whatever that answer is substitute it back into here and get the next answer x2 and there is a quick way of doing it which I'll show you in a moment but those answers if you work them out to three decimal places are x1 is 1.284 and x2 is 1.276 now using your calculator there is a quick way then of doing this and if you're unsure of that I will run through it with you now what we do is make sure that your calculator for something like this is in radians mode because we're doing trigonometric functions here. At the moment this calculator here is in degrees mode so I need to change it by changing it on to radians mode which is 4. So it's in radians mode and then we enter the first approximation x0 which is 1.3. So just enter 1.3 and press equals and this is saved under the answer function here. So clear the screen and now we start to enter the iterative formula which is the square root and then it is 1 plus and then we've got 2 thirds so put the fraction button here and put 2 on the top and then on the bottom we'll enter the 3 and then we'll come out of that fraction and enter xn but this is entered as answer now okay so press answer and then we've got the sine function so it'll be sine and then we've got a half so I'll set up the fraction button again we got one there and then down to the bottom of the fraction put two and move to the side and then we've got xn squared so that's going to be the answer squared and then just close off that bracket. So when we press equals now, answer remember was the first approximation 1.3. It's going to work out what x1 is. So by pressing equals we get x1. 1.28383 and so on. Which when rounded to three decimal places is 1.284. So that's x1 and all we need to do now is just press equals again and this gives us the next approximation x2 1.27600 and so on which the three decimal places is 1.276. So there you go that's the quick way then of doing it on your calculator.